In this video, we will design a down counting binary counter. In the previous video, we designed an asynchronous up counter. We will now adapt this counter to count down. We will base our design on the algorithm that was used for the up counter. First, as our binary sequence counts up, we will observe what happens to the bitwise inverse, or 1's complement, of each binary count. We observe that as our primary sequence counts up, the 1's complement of each state counts down. For the up counter, we obtained our count from the Q output of two JK flip-flops. For the down counter, we can therefore have exactly the same circuit but take the count from the Q-bar output. While this scheme is easy to implement, it has a significant drawback. For example, suppose we wanted to keep track of the number of people in a room by counting people as they enter or leave the room. That is, we count up for each person who enters the room and count down for each person who leaves the room. With our present counter design, the counter will count through the states regardless of whether we're counting up or counting down. The only difference? When we count up, our device will display the count on the top. Whereas when we count down, our device will display the count on the bottom. Thus, starting from zero, when the first person enters the room, the counter advances one state and we read the value at the top namely 1. Likewise, when the second person enters the room, the counter again advances one state, and we read the count up value, which is correctly 2. Things become curious, however, when someone then leaves the room. The counter will still advance one state, but now we will read the count down value, which is indeed 12. If then again someone enters the room, the counter will again advance by 1 and will now read the count up value, which is incorrectly 4. The solution is to derive a counting algorithm that actually reverses the counting sequence when we count down. This counting down algorithm will proceed as follows. Step 1. As for counting up, when counting down, the least significant bit will toggle at each count. Step 2. As opposed to counting up, when counting down, the most significant bit will toggle every time the least significant bit transits from 0 to 1. Once more, this will take into account the auto preset. Note that for down counting, the auto preset occurs from the lowest value to the highest value. For the up counter, the most significant bit was forced to toggle by the Q bar output of the first flip flop. For down counting, we can invert this toggle condition by driving it from the Q output of the first flip flop. Or, as we'll do in later design, invert the input coming from Q bar. With this design, the counter will show one unique value for each state of the count. However, the counter will change the direction that it goes through these states when counting up and when counting down. The counter will therefore always give the correct count.